coming out to the 2019 Department of Public Works Employee Years of Service Recognition Ceremony. Uh, we're going to get things kicked off here. We have a lot of uh, uh, ground to cover here. We have a lot of uh, dignitaries with us today. We're very fortunate that uh, we've been joined uh, and we're going to get things rolling right now uh, with our state's attorney, Ms. Marilyn Mosby. Good morning. We can do better than that. I said good morning. Good morning. That's what I'm talking about. We are here for a celebration of the years of dedication and service that you all have committed to the city of Baltimore. And so I'm simply here to say thank you. I cannot stay, but I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge the hard work, the dedication of each and every one of you. And so I'm here to say whether it's ensuring safe drinking water, keeping our communities and our waterways clean, you support the health, the environment, and the economy of this city. You need to know that you are the foundation of this city. You ensure the health and the vitality of our communities. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Give yourselves a round of applause. We know our city is so much greater than what is depicted when we turn on the news and when we open up the newspaper. We know the history, the culture, the architecture, the, the, the history of our city, the people of Baltimore, our neighborhoods. That's what makes us great. And thank you, each and every one of you, because every single day, and whether it's for 5, 10, 15, 25, 30 decades, you all have been doing the work and you are exemplifying why we are so great as a city. So again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. God bless you all. Thank you, Director. Ciao. Council President Scott, uh, we have a, a, uh, a certificate. Would you like to present the, the uh, Council resolution. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. All right, I just want to remind everybody we're in Park Heights. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. That's more like it. Thank you, Director Child. Thank you, for everyone, for having me here. I had to stop by today uh, to say congratulations, but more importantly, to say thank you. Uh, you guys that work each and every day. We know that most of the time for us uh, elected officials, it's an email for us. And we send an email, we send a phone call, but for every email that we send, every phone call that we make to the Department of Public Works, you are on the other end, doing the actual work of making sure that the people in Baltimore are getting the service that they need. So today I'm here to say thank you for that. We know it's hard, we know the citizens, give you the blues when you're out there and you can't get that water on as soon as they want, which is means rights when it gets cut off by a water main break. We know that sometimes that they do not look at us as a public service and respect the work that you guys do, but just know that we do. The city council, I know Mayor Young will speak as well. He do. We understand the value of the work that you guys do each and every day, and we appreciate you, whether it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 45, or 50 years the work that you have put into the city of Baltimore to make Baltimore a better place. And we all know that every year working in city government is 10 years. So if you've been in 50 years of service, my Lord, you've lived many lifetimes and many moons. So thank you, everyone. Continue the great work and just always know that we're there to support you and reach out to us when you, when you need assistance or if you just want to talk. This was some of the best conversations that I have is when I'm pumping my gas or I'm out in the community and I'm in, interacting with you guys so that we can learn about you and be able to be better stewards and better representation of you as our workers who do the tough work. So I just wanted to stop by with this presidential citation. Uh, I, Brandon M. Scott, president of the Baltimore City Council, do hereby present this president's citation to 
the Baltimore City Department of Public Works Years of Service honorees in recognition of the more than 300 DPW employees who have reached the 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50 years of service milestone. A witness that whereof, and I have affixed my signature to this citation on this memorable occasion given under the corporate seal of the city of Baltimore this 10th day of October in the year of 2019. Congratulations again and keep up the great work. We're also fortunate to have our controller with us this morning, Ms. Joan Pratt. Good morning, Mayor Young, Council President Scott, Director Chow, elected officials, the presidents and members of the Baltimore City Unions, friends and guests. Baltimore City is known as Charm City. Have you ever given thought to what it makes, what it takes to make Baltimore charming? It could be our seafood, the crabs we love. You could say it's our harbor, our outdoor concerts, holiday, fireworks, and parades. You could, say, you could say what makes Baltimore charming is its neighborhoods, its landmarks, its unique shops, and its delicious restaurants. Some may say it's about our aquarium, museums, our diverse heritage, or our festivals and cultural events that take place throughout the year. If you ask me what makes Baltimore charming, I would say it's the service that is provided by our city employees. The years of service, yes, give you a round of applause. This years of service ceremony is being presented because it signifies what makes our city great. It is the perseverance and loyalty of employees, like the 300 Department of Public Work personnel who are being honored here today. Achievement and success are not accidents. Achievement and success come, comes after hours, days, months, and years of hard work. The citizens of Baltimore join me in applauding the 300 men and women who have committed five through 50 years of service to making this city charming. We thank you, we honor you, and we wish you abundant peace and prosperity. Keep being great, and again, thank you for your service. Among our uh, employment uh, base are uh, folks who live in some of our surrounding counties, and we're very fortunate to be joined this morning by representatives from some of those uh, surrounding counties, including Baltimore County. We have a representative today representing Baltimore County. Oh, well, that's, that's just as good. Please, please, please. Would you like to have, share a few words? Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, for, for the record, uh, I'm Delegate Ben Brooks, uh, the 10th Legislative District in Baltimore County. And um, you know, I'm happy to say that I, I know quite a few of your elected officials. But, but more importantly, I'm happy to say that I appreciate what you guys do for your city and also for the county because we get a lot of our water from Baltimore City, you know. But uh, recognizing and acknowledging your profession, your commitment, and the things that you do is, is honorable, you know. So I, uh, here again, glad to be here this morning and to say this and at least let you know how appreciative I am from, from, from Baltimore County and just to acknowledge what, what you do. So uh, I, I'm, I'm Ben Brooks, and I, I approve this message. <laughs> hey, good morning, everybody. My name is Izzy Patoka, and I represent the second district of Baltimore County. And it's great to be here in Baltimore City, uh, just about a mile south of my district. And it's great to be with the leadership of Baltimore City 
and the folks that make the leadership look good here in Baltimore City. And I see so many friendly faces here. Uh, I've worked for Baltimore City for many, many years, and I know it's the people in this room that take care literally of the nuts and bolts of taking care of Baltimore City. And we in Baltimore County are only as strong as our neighbors in Baltimore City because we're all really one big community. Yes. It's just a larger scale out. In my neighborhood, I'm as strong as my next door neighbor on each side. And so I believe that's scaled out in regionally. And so we can't do it without the leadership. We can't do it without the folks that take care of the nuts and bolts of getting things done. And we can't take, uh, we can't do it without our union friends. So I just want to congratulate everyone here. And I want to especially congratulate the five residents of the second district that are in this room. <laughs> Six, including me, thanks. Again, we're uh, very fortunate that uh, so many of our elected officials wanted to reach out and they provided uh, citations and proclamations to many of their constituents uh, who are here today. Uh, those uh, citations will be available after our uh, uh, ceremony this morning. Uh, but without any further ado, I want to introduce our leader, our director, Rudy Chow. Thank you, Jeff. Good morning, everyone. Make sure you're sitting on the right side for grooms. And then <laughs> this is, uh, I, I, when I first walked in, I thought they decorated this for this. And I, I found out this is, there's a wedding coming up this weekend, I guess. <laughs> so good morning, uh, Honorable Mayor Young, elected officials, distinguished guests, and DPW proud employees. Welcome to the 2019 Baltimore City Department of Public Works Years of Service Ceremony. Today, we honor the hard work and commitment of all employees from every sector of the Department of Public Works. We'll recognize the service milestone of 326 employees with a total of 6,385 years of services to the city. Now, if we went back that many years in history, it would still be a thousand years before the great Egyptian civilization. That's a lot of years. <laughs> Today, we are recognizing employees in five-year increments. There are nearly 80 workers who are being recognized for, for 30, 35, 40, or 45 years of services. Two employees are being honored today for 50 years of service. That's half century. <laughs> what a tremendous accomplishment. Congratulations to all of them and to all of you for being part of the DPW family. You literally make life possible in Baltimore region. We are DPW proud. Thank to you our agency continues to recognize as a model in the public works industry throughout the nation. We serve as a model for other cities as we work to re revitalize our water and sewer lines, keeping our city clean, introducing our youth and local residents to careers in public works. Through our small business development program, we train businesses on how to compete for contracts in DPW. Now we do all recognize we do about half billion dollars worth of contract or construction work in DPW alone every single year. We do all of these things mindful of equitable and inclusionary best practices. But with all that being said, nothing makes me prouder when I hear about our employees going the extra mile for our residents. As a team, we continue to grow, improve, and expand on the work we do for the city of Baltimore. We have some tough years. I mean, we have some tough time this year with the challenges like the ransomware 
attack, but we never, we never stopped providing essential services. The trash was collected, the water kept running, the street were swept. I encourage you to be proud of your accomplishments. Tell your friends and neighbors about what you have done over the years to make Baltimore an even greater place to live. Now, I have the distinct, distinct honor to introduce my boss, the Honorable Mayor Bernard C. Jack Young. He is the perfect example of a public servant who is dedicated and passionate about city services. He began his services with Baltimore City by working for the Bureau of Solid Waste, and his hard work and dedication led him to city council, the president of the council, and now the job he did not seek, but whose call to service he answered with wholehearted passion. I present to you our mayor, Jack Young. Thank you, uh, Rudy, but before um, I have a few remarks, I would like to ask Councilman Johnson from Harford County to please come up and have a few words. Um, you know, we serve as Harford County as well, and since everybody else was speaking, I thought it was just right to invite you to have a few words. Well, good morning, everyone. I, I didn't prepare anything. Um, but, and it's, it's a surprise, so um, I'm just gonna talk off the cuff here. Um, before I got elected, I worked for, for housing and um, as a code enforcement officer. So uh, code enforcement and DPW, you know, we clash. It's, and, you know, it's, it's like uh, a family reunion and everyone's saying, uh, who made the potato salad? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but, um, I, I love the city of Baltimore. I, I have family here, and um, you guys are doing awesome and great things, and I appreciate everything that you do. We here, here well, not here in Harford County, but in Harford County, um, the, the city of Baltimore has a, a water main line that runs from the Susquehanna all the way down to Baltimore City. And, you know, the state, couldn't do what we do without the city of Baltimore. So from the from Harford County, I appreciate you. The the county of Harford County appreciates you and continue on doing great things. Thank you. First of all, um, I'd like to say good morning uh, to everyone. I'm happy to be here to honor so many of you here today. Um, was the resident Wills, was she? Okay, well, I want to recognize uh, Belinda Conway, our resident Wills, um, Delegate Stephanie Smith. <laughs> was it, it was recognized. Come on up, come on up. Oh, oh, I thought they was recognized. Uh, Councilman John Bullock, and Councilman Christopher Burnett, who are here as well. Can you turn this up? Can y'all turn the mic up a little? Or is it me? Okay. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Okay. First of all, I'd like to thank the union uh, leadership that's here today. Um, and I want to thank um, Director Chow. Uh, you know, oftentimes our public service workers never get uh, the, the appreciation and the credit that they deserve. A lot of times people call with complaints uh, about our workers and uh, try to degrade them and all kinds of things. And I, challenging more than that, so you can't just blanket say that all of our public employees are lazy, shiftless, and don't care about the job that they do day in and day out. But I can tell you, <coughs> as a um, former um, worker at the Department of Sanitation, as Sisson and 28th Street was where I worked for about a year, um, I know how hard your jobs are. I truly did it, so I know. Um, and for those who work in the water department, um, I see you out there in the frigid weather, the snow, uh, the rain, but yet you still go and get the job done. Um, I know that sometimes people come around you and want to ask you uh, what's taking you so long, and it's because you want to do a good job. You want to make sure that the problem is fixed. I, I just can't thank you enough. Um, you pick up our trash, you sweep our streets, you fix water main breaks. Um, you answer the call when there's 
subjects that's in our water system that you have to go in and get. Um, you do so much. You work along with, um, like um, Johnson, Councilman Johnson said, with um, DAC, uh, the, with the um, inspectors. And I know it can be tough, um, one blaming the other for why something wasn't picked up. But um, I do know that you all work together as a team to try to make sure you clean the city. Because my two priorities are crime and grime. And I know that they both go hand in hand. But we, as elected leaders, the police department, and our various city agencies, we can't do this work alone. Um, we, it takes a whole village. You know, like they say, it takes a village to raise our children. It takes a village to clean up our city and to re reduce the crime as well. So I just want to congratulate those who have five years, 10 years, 15, 20, 25. There's a whole listing here of um, awards for the great work that you do day in and day out. But um, it, it should go further than that because you are some of the lowest paid workers in the city of Baltimore. And we're working hard to try to fix that. Yeah. Um, I've been working with union leaders to try to fix that because it's very important. And sometimes <clears throat> sometime budget puts you back. Say, oh, we can't do that because um, where are we gonna get the revenue? And I say, hey, the majority of them live in the city we get it back in piggyback tax. So we do get the money back. So we're pushing hard to make sure that you guys are compensated the way you're supposed to be compensated, with good wages, so that you can do the things that everybody else do, taking vacation and taking your kids to the amusement parks, and doing the things that a family really you know, like to do. So I just want to thank all of you for your hard work and your dedication. And those of you who are not stepping up to the plate, we're going to chastise you because you're making the whole department suffer for just a few. So if you have those bad employees out there that's not doing what they're supposed to do, let us know. Because we don't want to fire them, but we want to bring them along and put them on a path of success where they can be the great workers and get awards just like you're getting. But we can't have nobody dropping the ball. It's a team effort. Everybody must pull this weight. Every mu everybody must participate to help clean up our city and reduce the crime in the city of Baltimore. To our elected officials from outside the city of Baltimore, thank you so much for being here. We know that some of your constituents work here in Baltimore City and vice versa. So it's good to see you showing up to support those workers who live in the counties. So again, Dr. Rector Child and your staff, union leadership, Thank you so much for honoring our well-deserved awardees. And to the awardees, congratulations on the job well done. Thank you. OK, uh, next I'd like to bring up our Deputy Labor Commissioner, uh, Veronica, Veronica Jones. Good morning, Mr. Mayor, uh, Council President Scott, uh, Madam Comptroller, Director Chow, and distinguished guests. It is my privilege to speak to you today on behalf of the Labor Commissioner, Deborah Moore Carter. Like you, Ms. Moore Carter has devoted years of dedicated service to Baltimore City government and its employees. If it were not for a prior commitment, she would be here congratulating and celebrating you today. As we honor your years of service today, a few thoughts come to mind. Most importantly, the city couldn't function without dedicated employees like you who work hard every day to make the city a better place. In a real sense, each of you are helping to write Baltimore's success story because you have not just showed up for work, you have showed up to work. The great football coach, Vince Lombardi, observed that people who work together will win, whether it be against complex football defenses or the problems of modern society. We faced our share of problems in Baltimore City, but you've been steadfast and loyal. You've stayed to lend your talents and efforts towards finding solutions. This is all the more significant because staying with organizations for several years is no longer assumed as it once was. In fact, recent statistics show that roughly 33% of new hires quit their jobs after six months. 
33% of employees know whether they will stay with their company long term after the first week. And about 3 million Americans quit their jobs each month. Now to put that into perspective, that's the equivalent of the combined populations of Wyoming, Alaska, Vermont, North Dakota, and Washington DC handing in their resignations each month. And that's pretty mind boggling. I leave you with a final thought from automaker Henry Ford who said, coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress. Working together is a success. Once again, on behalf of the Office of the Labor Commissioner, I thank you for your valued years of service and wish you congratulations on reaching your service milestones. Next, uh, I'd like to bring up uh, Ms. Tanya Brinkley, the Deputy Director from DHR. Good morning, good morning, thank you. Uh, greetings to Mayor Young, elected officials, Baltimore City leadership, family, employees, and friends. On behalf of Quentin Herbert, the Director of Human Resources, and myself, I am honored and beyond excited to be here to celebrate you today for your contributions and your efforts to Baltimore City. I applaud the determination of the city and your efforts that you demonstrate when you come to work every day for 50, 45, 40, 30, 20, 10, and five years. I applaud you for that. Your Lord and dedicated employees like you are the foundations that make this Baltimore City successful. Again, thank you and best wishes for many years to come. Okay, next I'd like to bring up the three union representatives. So let me first start with uh, Michael Guy, who is the president for MAPS. Today we celebrate the men and women who have exhibited unwavering dedication to one agency, DPW. Beginning 5, 10, 15, 40, 50 years, the day in and day out, which for some could be overwhelming, but these individuals persevered. Some are rising stars, some have risen to the top, and their reward will be their legacy. They stand as models for others to take notice. They daily demonstrate their dedication to the agency by being dependable, prompt, and understanding to the job at hand. They participate without any prejudice to the task. They get it done. As taskmasters, they are observed by their peers and offered the greatest compliment, emulation. Fellow employees emulate their conduct that translates success, and through this continuing process, a new legacy of service is born. However, retirement becomes inevitable. But their legacy lives on through the thoughts and service of their peers. In conclusion, as the other employees arrive, remember that they are as, as observant as you were, so maintain your legacy of service encourage and inspire them to create their own legacy. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Guy. Next, I'd like to bring up a representative from Cub, Ms. Roth, uh, Pacha Hyundai. Good morning, I'm here from the City Union of Baltimore. Um, I know a lot of you, some of you are not familiar with me, but I'm here representing the president today. She could not be here, but um, we definitely wanted to say how glad we are that this celebration has even taken place. It's my pleasure to stand before you on behalf of the City Union of Baltimore. The Cub members in the Department of Public Works are among the most loyal and dedicated employees. We here today to we are here today to celebrate the people that make Baltimore function on a day-to-day -day basis. 
it is you all, the women and men of DPW who get up every day and tirelessly work to ensure that Baltimore City is clean, inhabitable, and the jewel of Central Maryland. Our city has been in the news for a number of challenges. Squeegee kids and other const, uh, a constant quest to tamp down the violence. But there are people underreported that I'm glad we're able to celebrate here. This morning, and they are the men and women who commit to our city and show that the commit, commitment in their work. We rarely praise the chemist or the customer service analyst or the data entry operator or the pollution control analyst or the utility meter tech or any of the other very important jobs that workers in DPW do. This morning is the morning that we do that. Today is the day. If at, if at no other point in your career, if at no other time in your life, if no one ever notices you, thanks you, celebrates you, or praises you, know that today your city and your union is grateful for your service. And on behalf of the City Union of Baltimore, and on behalf of the people of Baltimore, I, we, thank you. Next, I'd like to bring up the president of AFSCME, uh, Glenn Middleton. Thank you. Thank you, Rudy Chow. Good morning. Good morning. It's an honor, it's a distinguished privilege, but it's also special that we are honoring these amazing men and women of this incredible department, the Department of Public Works in this great city of Baltimore. First, I wanna just say to the invited and honored guests who are these distinguished guests, like all of these folks that are being honored today to the elected officials that are here from Baltimore County where I grew up, and also from Hartford County who we represent members there, but also to our council members and the president but also to our distinguished uh, other officials like the mayor and our register of wills, Belinda Conway, but also to our comptroller who sits on, a, who was just for two hours on a pension meeting with us on a, with the pension board and then she rushed right here. I just wanna say that, and I'll take a few words because this is so special and important because your work is so amazing. As someone like the mayor and other folks that are in different positions today, I started out as an 18-year-old in water and wastewater. I started out at Bethlehem Steel before I went away to school. I started out in the steam department and I actually worked at Back River for about six months. You all have a difficult heart, it's a difficult job, but it's amazing work. The mayor just left and I, I'm glad he's left because I, he left, <laughs> oh he's back. <laughs> because I wanted to say something. I wanted to say something special, 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 because I'm only gonna take a minute and a half. But I thought it was important to say this, and he's here, he can hear it, but I wanted to say it behind his back. <laughs> that we've gotta be thankful for this mayor. It's really, really good for our workers, and it's good for you, and it's good for the city, and it's good for the future of this city. That we've been in negotiations for quite some time, and we don't discuss it, and we can't discuss it. But what I can say to you today, and the city union has also been in negotiations. But I want to say to you today that, that I'm proud. I'm proud of our contract. I've been involved in negotiations in the city of Baltimore for a long, long time, almost over 30 some years. But out of all the other contracts we've had, this contract that you're going to ratify on the 27th of October, the workers that are here that, that are in Local 44 will be proud, amazed, and happy because out of all the contracts we've negotiated, this Bible that we have is our contract. It's gonna be the most amazing contract. You've gotta come out to the ratification at your union hall on Bush Street on the 27th at one o'clock to do that, the last Sunday of this month. But I believe you'll be thankful as we go into the Thanksgiving season. You will be blessed and thankful. I just wanna thank the mayor, 
Thank him for his commitment. Thank him for his dedication, too. Like all of you, he came from where you come from. And he's showing it by making sure that your contract is a decent contract for the workers that work so hard every day that live paycheck to paycheck. We want to thank you, Mayor. We want to thank these workers for their, their difficult and hard jobs. But also thank Rudy Chow because apprenticeship programs, look, he's pushed them, he's pushed them, he's hired more people. He's building for the future by, hiring, by making sure we have a decent apprenticeship program. I thank you, Rudy Chow, for the relationship. I thank all these incredible, awesome workers on their years of service and continue the great work. And don't forget, October the 21st through the 25th is National Retirement Security Week. Please check on that, it's important. God bless you and thank you. All right, thank you, Glenn. Okay, so as uh, I stated earlier, we are here to recognize employee with 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30, 35, and 40, and 45 and 50 years of services to DPW. So let's start off with a round of applause for those employees. Now, let's, well, let's have a round of applause for all. Uh, <laughs> now I will call the following honorees, years of services, please stand to be uh, acknowledged. Five years of service, please stand. Thank you. 10 years of services, please stand. Thank you. 15 years of services, please stand. How about the 20 years services, please stand. Twenty-five years, services, please stand. <laughs> These employees will receive a service pin and a certificate that can be picked up on the top floor at the end of the event. Will the mayor and the DPW executive team please join me in the front? Perhaps the elected official as well, if you would like. Uh, because we're going to be start calling out individual employees from 30 on up now. Now I'd like to ask our 30 years of services employees to stand. Please come to the front when Jeff call your name. We're going to start with 30 years of service with Paul Altadonna. If you're here when I call your name, please come forward to uh, uh, get your plaque. Uh, Alonzo Ames. <clears throat> Terry. George Ball. Ronald Barton, Jr. Joseph Bellardo. John Boyd. Robert Cotton. Helen 
Kerbeam. Michael Derso. Robert Fox. Lydia Brinchison. Elizabeth Johnson. Bruce Jones. Daniel Kincaid. Craig Lane. Paula McDonald. Byron McFadden. Nathaniel McFadden. Jerome Mills. Leslie Morgan. Stephen Patterson. Maria Reed. Gurminder Singh. Dirk Smothers. Edward Stanley. Michael Stanley. Glenwood Thomas. Andrew Todd. Patricia Wall. Deborah Watford. John Watford. <laughs> Rodney Wooden. <laughs> and Jesse Yarborough. Next up, please, all of our 35-year service members, please stand.
And as I call your name, please come forward. Beverly Albert. Michael Beverly. Nathaniel Collins. Philip Corelli. Lewis Crowder. Bernard Evans. David Flannery. Ruby Flentall. Craig Gaither. Frank Garbo. Clifton Height. Urban Johnson. John Locklear. John Locklear. Dwayne Mack. Keith Matro. Umoja Mulayar. William Owens. <laughs> Kelvin Patterson. Vincent Piedrick. Aaron Pomerantz. Scott Rampmeyer. Anthony Rossi. Kirk Stair. Bruce Whittington. Chris Wick. Thank you. 
Leonard Williams. Next with our employees receiving their 40 years of service pins today, please stand. And again, as I call your names, please step forward, beginning with Wendell Addison. Carolyn Allen. Anita Banks. Irma De Borgia. David Ganey. <laughs> Stephen Hoover. Yeah. <laughs> Lawrence Hudson. Eugene Jennings. <laughs> Lisa Jones. David Lawman. <laughs> Iqbal Maksud. <laughs> Anthony Page. Vib Patel. <laughs> Cheryl Raley. <laughs> Velda Smith. Carolyn Wells. <laughs> We're going to take a very brief pause, don't go anywhere, because we've got a special video presentation for the next couple of groups. <laughs> Well, working around this much water, I like to swim. Learn me about the water, different things about the city, you know, how the water come in, the water goes out and all. And I'm very proud of that. I am Gordon Thompson. I am 50 years DVW proud. I am most proud of getting my business management degree while working 
at DPW. It helped me in the area where I work in fiscal. I am Jean Douglas and I am 45 years DPW proud. I'm proud of the work that I've done in the Geographical Information Systems Network. I'm proud of the uh, sanitary sewers that I've put in there. I am Wayne Shiplett and I'm 45 years DPW proud. I learned how to deal with people of all <laughs> mindsets. Since I've been with the city, I have never been wrote up, I've never been suspended. I am Donald Comedies, and I am 50 years DPW proud. We are DPW proud. With 45 years of service, please come forward, Gene Douglas. With 45 years of service, Wayne Shiplett. <laughs> With 45 years of service, Barney Walker. of service, Donald Comages. And also with 50 years of service, Gordon Thompson. One more time for all of our hardworking employees. Okay, let's give all those awardees who are on ease another big round of applause. So I want to take this occasion to take a pause of a moment to acknowledge Erica Henderson of OCAL. Now, who was recently recognized as the employee of the month. But unfortunately, uh, that uh, she was delayed in arrival, so we didn't have an opportunity to recognize her. So I thought I brought her here to recognize her here in front of everyone. Many thanks to the mayor, cabinet members, union representatives, and all dignitaries again to join me in celebrating our employee and their years of services. I also thank Yolanda Winkler, my chief of communications and strategic alliance. Yolanda, where are you? Please stand. For her leadership and her entire years of service team, are all your team here? Please stand. Wave your hand. Yay. Yay. 
this is the team that helped organize this year's event. And uh, I want to thank all of you for putting this together. This is a wonderful occasion. You know, uh, we, every day we're out there doing the hard work. And we're taking this moment to recognize the great work that you have done, recognize your years of services. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you for the department, from the department. And thank you being part of the DPW family. So thank you. Now, Now this concludes the 2019 years of service. I think we have some refreshments and some stuff out there. Please join us.